we are talking about the hilarious comedy parody movie, The Haunting of La Llorona. What is that? It's not, it's not a comedy. It's not a comedy. Oh, okay, then we are talking about the horror movie, The Haunting of La Llorona. Obviously a low-budget mockbuster version of the Conjuring spirit, uh, spin-off, The Curse of La Llorona. Uh, this one is directed by Dennis Devine and stars no one you've ever heard of. So, the budget of this one is apparently uh, $500,000. I find that a little hard to believe uh, seeing what we have on screen here, but let's discuss. So, the story, it really focuses on this couple, uh, this young couple, who've kind of, you know, they're, they're living in this house and one day there's this strange woman that is kind of sitting in their living room and uh, she appears to be possessed, although they don't know this at the time, and she attacks the guy and the guy kind of defends himself and hits this woman who kills her, or at least that's what he thinks. And it appears that the spirit of La Llorona has possessed this woman and is now residing in this, horse, men uh, this house, uh, menacing this couple and... Uh, uh, the, the female of the couple ends up kind of befriending this homeless woman who they immediately become best friends and invites to move in with her. And uh, basically then it's the kind of the, the uh, can they defeat the, the, uh, the spirit of La Llorona? So well, let's discuss the movie. So I'm being a little bit facetious with this one obviously. Now when we had the kind of the Nun movie came out we have a whole host of low budget Nun movies. So it's no surprise really that we've had some of this and to be fair, it's not the only one that's kind of come out um, featuring kind of the uh, the, uh, the white wailing woman, etc. Um, so what does work for this movie? Okay, so let's just go through some of the basic stuff. Um, I do feel the movie is shot relatively well uh, for a, on a, any kind of technical level. I think the camera placement, the lighting here, is actually relatively kind of sufficient. And on a technical side of things, I think um, at least this is fairly proficiently made. And the movie is somewhat funny, not maybe intentionally, but you can't help but kind of chuckle at some of the uh, performances here, particularly from the kind of the priest, who his overacting is something to behold, and genuinely makes it uh, quite amusing to sit through. And we are talking like Tommy Wiseau levels of acting here. It's, it's genuinely quite funny. Um, other than that, I, I, I guess it passes the Bechtel test. I suppose I can say it's a positive for this one. And uh, yeah, it's kind of nice to see two kind of like female friends and uh, just have other things going on, I suppose. And uh, yeah, kind of. And I guess the poster art is incredibly good. There you go. The poster art looks fantastic. Nothing to do with the actual movie, but there you go. Anyway, let's talk about maybe what doesn't work. Okay, so. This movie is just very hard to kind of really find much to recommend it to, but it's because it's just um, very kind of, very obviously very, very low budget. I think maybe the, the, the budget when reported on IMDb is wrong on this one. It's just, I just can't see it having that amount of budget on it. Uh, there's virtually um, no kind of special effects as such. There is a little bit of kind of like uh, glowing lights and kind of mist towards the end, but that's pretty much it. And I've got to say, the, the, the actual ghostly effects here are some of the worst. Um, and what do I mean by that, to go into a little bit more detail? So we see the kind of the, um, the, the woman in white, you know, La Llorona. And it is just a Latino woman with a kind of a white dress on. It looks like she's got dirt on her face. And that is it. That is your ghost. Um, so it looks, literally looks like just like a dirty woman standing there, if I'm honest. And... Um, that's it. That is your kind of your special effects. There's no real attempt to make it kind of it look otherworldly or kind of spooky in any way. It's, it's actually quite kind of laughable, really. There's there's scenes where she's meant to kind of give this spooky smile, and it just looks it's just hilarious. Um, now I've mentioned the acting. Now to be fair, there's a character called Tiffany who is like the homeless woman. I actually don't think she was too much of a, too too a bad actor. I've got to say. Um, to be fair to her. So, but with her aside, the rest of the acting here is incredibly cheesy. And uh, like I've said, the, the priest definitely takes the kind of the cake. It's 
by far and away the most over the top, but more or less everyone else is varying degrees of. I mean, the, the kind of the, the female lead, this kind of the woman uh, who is kind of one of the female of this couple, you know, there's, there's, there's certain, certain scenes, I guess, where she's okay, but there's other scenes where she's kind of way overacting. Um, and I guess the same, the same is true of the boyfriend as well. You know, to be fair, maybe he's not so bad, actually, the boyfriend. But to be fair, the, the, the level of acting as a general rule in this kind of movie is so kind of cheesy. Um, the story just, the, some of the plot points here are just ridiculous. I mean, the way that this kind of woman um, seemed, our, our kind of our female lead, right? She goes jogging and she unknowingly jogs into the kind of like the, the bad part of town uh, where she seemed to be living in the suburbs and stuff. And she ends up kind of like, running into kind of like this, uh, without knowing where she is, she just goes jogging and doesn't know where she's going, and runs into this bad neighbourhood and just kind of uh, inadvertently saved by this kind of homeless woman who really doesn't look homeless, if, let's be, if, if we're being honest. And then they immediately become best friends and she gets invited to live with her. It's just ridiculous. I mean, it's just a silly plot point. And the dialogue here is incredibly kind of crass and basic. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's... and I've got to say, when we... we when we have this, like, our exorcism scene towards the end, it basically consists of uh, the power of, pri of Christ compels you, and that's it. That's basically all you need to kind of say, according to this movie. Uh, and uh, I've, got to, I've got to talk a little bit about the music choice of this movie, because it, there's, there's, there's certain musical scores here that sound like it's from Terminator and there's just this woman jogging and it's got like this Terminator-esque theme tune going on it's 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 so out of place honestly this movie just seems to be a right jumble uh, of, of low budget stuff kind of cobbled together um so should you watch this well I've got to be honest with you uh I'm not going to recommend this one as you can probably tell but it, if you just want some just something to kind of laugh along with then maybe give it a shot. You know, I've, I've reviewed um, some of the kind of the, the low-budget nun movies, and I've got to say, it's maybe not quite as egregious and uh, uh, offensively bad as those ones, because there is a kind of just a, uh, you know, a Plan 9 from out of space kind of level vibe here of, of just silly, silliness, to be fair. But it's, it's not a proficiently made movie. There's no real kind of, you know, you can do a low-budget film and kind of make an attempt to make it scary. It looks like it was just filmed over a weekend. And I, you know, I haven't spoken to the director of this, but I have spoken to a director of a number of uh, short, uh, uh, low-budget horror films. And they just, they just whack them out to, you know, to kind of try and kind of uh, um, capture the kind of the buzz of a, a larger-budget film. And it's, I think this is probably what this, the case is with this. So there's no real kind of thought into it, and obviously it's just kind of been knocked out to kind of coincide with the, the curse of La Llorona, which in itself wasn't a particularly big hit. So I want to give this one a 3 out of 10. It is not a good movie in any sense, uh, but there you go. 3 out of 10, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment, and I shall look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.